What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. And in this episode, we're going to talk all about the $120,000 banana that sold over an Art Basel over the past weekend. It is absolutely bananas, pun intended. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, we're going to jump into this tea. Welcome to the new series, The Art Explorer. So before we get into this tea, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Danielle. I am the artist behind Creative Girl of Color. And welcome to my channel. If you guys are new around here, this would be a great time to go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell for all notifications. And don't forget to give a girl a thumbs up. So let's get into it. So over the weekend, you guys... December the 8th, well, really, it runs from Art Basel, Miami, runs from December the 5th to December the 8th. Every year, it goes down. It's one of the hottest places to be if you're an artist, especially if you're a professional artist at the top of your game. That's where everything is happening. You meet all sorts of collectors and buyers and producers and famous people and all that jazz right so over the weekend they made a big thing right it basically art basil is already hot it's already the hottest shit on 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 this block right now but they made history they made news for one of their conceptual artists that came exhibited a piece I think his name is Maurizio, Mauricio. And all he was trying to do was pretty much live his best life. So basically the long and the short of it is he took a banana, a live and direct banana, slapped it on a roll with some plain old hardware store gray duct tape and he slapped it on the wall, okay? And... <laughs> Of course, that was already making news. People was already talking about that because they was like, whoa, right? Now, let's let's look this up, right? And let's because I want to make sure that I always want to make sure I'm giving you guys the real, my unfiltered thoughts, as well as facts on top of facts, right? So I looked up the whole thing. This is basically what it looks like in uh what it would the exhibit itself would have looked like. And if you can see like all of the news outlets were like all over this white on rice, you guys, right? A hundred and twenty thousand dollars this thing went for times three, right? Because three buyers went in and had already bidded and you know put down some money to to basically buy into this conceptual piece by this artist with the banana on the wall, right? So that was already making waves. People was already like, mm, like damn. And now you can see it, like right here. Like I mean, it's like some basic shit. Now I mean, it's a spoiled banana with like, and I guess it got maybe it was maybe it was like uh you know regular dagula. It was looking nice in the beginning of the exhibit. But towards the end, it was like a spoiled banana that they're doing the thing. Now, I, you know, you ask yourself, now, he called this piece the comedian, right? Um, and you, you ask yourself, like, why would people be interested in something like this? But you never know. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and art is as well, right? His name is Maurizio Catalin, Catalan. You know, he... Um, whose fruit pinned to the wall with gray duct tape, right? Um, up to, upwards to $150,000 each, you guys. And three people, you guys, bid on this. It was absolutely bonkers and insane. Um, now, late Sunday, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe it was late Saturday evening, right? There was announcement followed an incident which New York City-based performance artist... We're going to insert him in a minute, okay? New York City-based uh, uh, performance artist David Datuna pulled the banana off the wall and ate it. Boom. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then he had the nerve to film it and put it on his Instagram, you guys. All right? So, it was bad enough. We already had, like, a circus 
thing going on with this conceptual art, banana, rotten banana on the wall, you know, and I don't even know how I feel, really feel about that at this point because I'm like, mm, are you like making a mockery of art or is it something like, is it a stunt? Is it, is it something that you was doing for publicity? Which I mean, all publicity is, is, is pretty much good publicity. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm pretty much on the fence about how I really feel about this damn banana being on the wall and selling for so much damn money when, you know, there's like massive artists around the world working their ass to the bone, painting for hours and, you know, we're not making that amount of money, but you know, it is what it is. I ain't knocking the hustle. We're going to get into the fact that this person, I guess, David Detuna, right? Which was another artist in a whole nother booth, maybe. Um, I don't know exactly what booth he was in, but he was a whole nother artist in another booth that I guess became just as bewildered as I am. And it was like, mm, oh yeah, like I'm not feeling you, Maurizio or Mauricio. <laughs> I'm not feeling you, bruh. I'm about to come over there and I'm about to just fuck up your whole shit right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to eat your whole display. Your whole conceptual art is going to be eaten. And you can see, like, other people... I mean, this thing is went viral. You can see other people doing their own little conceptual piece. And, I mean, hey, it makes waves. I, I, you know, sometimes you got to get innovative. You know, it is what it is. I guess he, this, this Maurizio had played around with all of these different concepts. Like, you can even see you know who over there taped to the wall and some other artists conceptual piece so people went absolutely bonkers with this particular concept and i guess david was no exception to the rule so boom let's insert david so i went into all of these different outlets because i wanted an image and a video actually of david on Instagram actually removing this thing off the wall and eating it. So here's the footage. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, what the F? Beep. Can you believe this, bro? More footage. Testing <laughs> good. Oops. Too much tape. So the goal and audacity. So here's his Instagram. You know I had to look him up, do my research, look at his page, see what's going on with this man. I mean, he is an artist too, you know. Um, I'm guessing he does um, concepts and stuff like that as well. And I mean, at first I thought it was kind of funny. But then at the same time, with me being an artist, I'm like, mm, yeah, you was kind of disrespecting though, for real. Um, thankfully, you know, Maurizio has a very gracious and wonderful spirit and he didn't press charges you guys he didn't nothing really happened to him for actually taking his $120,000 uh you know thing off the wall and eating it <laughs> so anyway you guys here's my little conceptual piece of skull break me off a piece of that kid cat bar anyway you guys um, yeah, I hope you love my little story. Um, of course, he got escorted out of the premises after all of that jazz, after he did all of that stuff, um, eating that man's conceptual art. You know, come on now, if that was in a different setting, somebody would have put hands on him. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, because uh, uh, people get real sensitive about their art. But anyway, I love you guys so, so much. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.